you are now cooking with Free the Keto Coach. And today we are baking lasagna. Man, how many people out there love lasagna? I know I love lasagna. I actually make it for my wife every year for her birthday and she's like, it's not my birthday, what, what are you making lasagna for? I said, you know what, we're gonna make lasagna because you've been, you're an awesome person, you hold it down, so we're gonna do it for you like that. And, and just take it as you can take it. Take it as you can take it. I'll okay. just pretend it's September. So, so, we, I've always made lasagna for her, and of course, I've always used the bad carbs or, or the sugar and everything like that. Well, now I'm a keto coach and keto adapted, whatever. And uh, so I don't do that no more. So now I found a way to make lasagna, still delicious. That's my maid dish, man. She was like licking her fingers. She's like, oh my God, it's so good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the meat right now. So we got a red bell pepper and, and, a, and a green bell pepper. And all we're gonna do is cut it up. I like pre-chop it up a little bit, but we're just gonna cut it up. Everything's live. I don't, I don't like to, for y'all not to see what's going on. So everything's live. So we're just gonna get this, okay? All right, and now an onion. And I went with the purple onion. I just like the color of it, and also because it has like a little sweet taste to it. So we're gonna go right here. Put it, Put it to this side right here. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. Got the little Italian music in the background. This is perfect, you know? A lot of people, they go to restaurants and they buy lasagna and then you don't even know what you're getting in, in restaurants. Even if you're not doing the keto lifestyle, man, not all, not all lasagna is good, okay? So some of y'all probably saying, I don't like onion. Well, onion's good. You don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the onion like this, but you eat it cooked. I like it both ways, okay? So here goes the pot. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put this on right now. Is that for the sauce or the meat? Right now we're doing the meat and then we'll be doing the sauce. So do you wanna do? The meat on that one? No, no, we're gonna. We're, you know what? Um, we can. I guess we could do that. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. You see what I got my wife next to me? What's that called when you don't want it? Production. She's my production leader. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put this. All right. Put this right here. A little oil. And remember, you always gotta use olive oil, avocado oil, or uh, what's the other one? Coconut oil. And that's the only thing you want to use. I don't know what that makes. That's the only thing we use. Okay, so we're just gonna throw it around the pan real quick, like this. How's everybody doing out there, man? I'm glad y'all. Who do we have all on there? What's up, y'all? Shout out to Jose, Betty. Betty, you can come see in 3D. <laughs> um, Shell, Brandy, what's up, boy? Zach, Teresa, Janice. Hey, how y'all doing out there, man? How y'all doing out there? Glad y'all coming in. Y'all about to learn. Y'all about to learn how to make some delicious lasagna. Some delicious lasagna. All right? You got to excuse me. I ain't shaved. I ain't done nothing like that. But hey, we got to get this show on the road. So, so you get the onion. You're going to put the onion on there. Right? You get the onion. Put the onion there. You always want to hear that kss, but I didn't, leave it, I didn't leave it long enough. Okay, here we go. Right? Put the bell peppers in there. Bell peppers. Bell peppers. There it goes. That season's coming up. Okay. So now, a lot of times on lasagna, they use pasta. Okay. Well, this is a keto lasagna, so I absolutely don't lose no type of pasta. But I make my own pasta. And that's why you want to check this out. Let me come this one up. All right. So you can focus in here. What we have in here is four eggs. Um, Philadelphia cheese. Let me, let me show you what that looks like. Uh, let me show me. You, you, you need a whole block. So you need a whole block of this, right? This is what this is what's gonna make my noodles. So you need a whole block of this, and you need four eggs, right? And then you can get some seasoning, which I use Italian. Right here. Is, that, is it over there? Yeah. Okay. So I use these seasoning. I use a little bit of this one, which is maybe like about a tablespoon of this. I used a, 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 what do you call it, a half a tablespoon of this, and then I used some onion, onion uh, uh, granular, um, probably like a one-fourth of that, okay? So, you put it in here and you let it blend up real good. If you, have, if you don't have this, you have just the blender, the, you know, the, the hand type, you can use that, and you just let it go, and you let it go for about two, three minutes. On here, you, you know, it goes by quicker. All right, so then, take that off. after so this, Take that off. Oh, poor 
I'm still messed up. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is what you got. These are gonna be the noodles, right? So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add mozzarella cheese to it. And we're gonna add, um, what's the other one called? Uh, the other cheese, uh, Parmesan, okay? That's how much you're gonna need. And full fat, don't get reduced. Yeah, please fat. never get reduced, never get reduced. Look for a half cup, this is a half cup, right? I need a half a cup. I got some, here goes, half a cup, okay? So a half a cup, mozzarella cheese. And you always want to make sure you get the right. I don't want to make a mess when my wife gets upset, but. I sure do. I got no choice. We'll clean a little bit. Oh, so, I'll hold you up to you that. You know, one thing about men, men are really better chefs than, than women. <laughs> but we're more messy. I ain't going to lie. We are messy. I, I, I can tell you right now. It's like a hurricane going through you this kitchen. Who taught you how to cook? My mom. Okay, so, <laughs> so we're going to get this, and we're going to put it down right here, right? We're going to put one. Okay, and remember, this is a half a cup. So the reason why I do it like this because you don't want your noodles to be too thick, but you don't want them to be too small, right? So sometimes when you purchase cheese, whether you're doing it, you're shredding it yourself, or you're purchasing it, sometimes the amount's just a little bit different, right? So here we go. So here goes another one. All right. Now after that, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put Parmesan cheese. It don't matter which one you use, just as long as it's Parmesan cheese. And if it's old, it's fine. Parmesan cheese is good when it's old. Not that old, but you know what I mean. Aged. All right, so aged, yeah. So you're just gonna sprinkle it on there. Do a little, do a little. It's not like I'm doing a cumbia song. Que le baila tu, que le baila tu. All right. All right. Jay, Jay said he cleans oh, as he don't goes. Forget, don't forget what you got over here. <laughs> oh, I did forget. I didn't. Okay, so we're just gonna move it around. So we got this going on, right? All right, look, look at the color of that. That's real quick. Okay, we got that. All right. So we're gonna lower down the heat right here because we don't want nothing to burn. All right. This is the meat. You do not want to get meat that's lean. You try not to get lean meat, okay? Because that's what you don't want, lean meat. Okay? This is gonna, we're gonna put this to the side right here. Like that. To the side. And now we're gonna bring in the meat. Okay? Bring in the meat. All right. But you don't stop there. I don't know how y'all make y'all lasagna, but I always made mine with sausage. Italian sausage. So you can get the Italian sausage off. You're gonna get it off. And all this is, is nothing but flavor. When you're doing the keto lifestyle, even if you're not doing the keto lifestyle, you, ne you need to have flavor on your food. A lot of times I've eaten people's food and I'm like, man, they need a lot of flavor. But not everybody can cook. But I'll tell you what, make sure y'all pick up the cookbook because it's coming. It is coming. Matter of fact, my wife is showing me some exercise how to, how to be able to write the book faster. Which is awesome. Who was the one that you were talking about? The, the artist or what? Um, no, it's just from from a professional development class. And it really helped me, man. It really, really. Okay, this this spoon sucks. Well, you gotta use the flat one back there, the wooden one. I don't. I want to use my spoon. You know which one I like. Hold on. Mm. I got a certain spoon. That's enough. I like the the flat bottom one. All right. All right, guys, so what I'm planning to do right now, we're planning to get this meat going. I'm gonna show you the sauce. And then, of course, I can't show you everything I put in my sauce, but I'll show you most of it. And then after that, after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you the noodles. We're gonna get the noodles going. And then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna go part two on the video and then I'm gonna plate it for y'all and show you how good it is and I'm gonna eat it in front of y'all. Hey, to do that for y'all, I'm gonna eat it in front of y'all. Okay, so over here. Honey says she's hungry, I'm hungry too. What's up, honey, how you doing? Okay, so we're just, we're just gonna mix this up right here, right? We're gonna mix this, mix this up. All right? All right. Okay. 
Okay, I think I need some little more mozzarella cheese. Where's my hat? So, when I show y'all this, y'all gonna be like, man, you see what it is sometimes? I, I just start thinking Pour of a, it in like this. I just start thinking of a way, I just sit there and start thinking, man, you know what, what if I try this? What if I try that? What if that works? And then I go with it, okay? All right, so we're going, just, all you wanna do is just, you don't wanna mix it so much, you just wanna flip it over, flip it, flip it. Flip it, flip it. All right, so that's the noodles right there. Okay, you get the noodles and you're gonna spread them out. Hopefully we don't go over. Oh, it looks like it's gonna spill yeah. over. Yeah, we are. Wife's already looking, see if I'm gonna make a mess. Mm. Hey, this is something that you do and it, you might, you gotta get it right and you know, like I said, men are better chefs, but we're just make mess. We make a lot of mess. Right, babe? Clean as you go, I mean. All right. Let me get everything out. Okay. Where's the spatula? I don't know. Look for one. Hold on. I'll get it right now. Here. That's going be better. We need a spatula. Here. You find one? Yeah, they're right here. All right. I was gonna take it. All right. All right. Well, make sure my um my meat's over there doing good, doing good. All right. So we're just getting a spatula to get the rest of it out, the rest of the spatula. Man, guys, I promise you, if you cut sugar out your life, you are gonna give yourself, man, amazing, amazing everything. Because as I cut sugar out my life, it's pretty messy. Um, I no longer, I'm no longer type 2 diabetic, I no longer get headaches, um, nothing, I mean, nothing that I used to do before, we don't know. I'm gonna mix this for you. Alright. So I'm already hungry. Well, when you cut them. Yeah. Okay, so that's the noodles right there. All right. Let me go over look. Okay. This, I don't like this. Well, I do. I know, but that's the thing about me and you. We're different on that part. Oh, shoot. You're going to get a blanket? And I could have cooked this before I put you on the phone, but I wanted y'all to see. I wanted y'all to see, you know, what we're doing right here. You know, we're just gonna break it up and break it up. We're gonna let it cook. We got a lid to this bag? Um, yeah, down there. Give me a lid. Well. Hold on. Okay, I'll do it right now. All right. And then what do you have over here? You know you're in the kitchen. Okay, we're gonna. This is the wrong one. We're gonna just cover it with that right there. What do you have here? Okay, right here we're gonna start doing the sauce. No, I said, what do you have here? Oh, oh, okay, that's another treat. So right here, I made a strawberry cake. That's a strawberry. Uh, it's gonna be a strawberry cheesecake. Well, not cheesecake because it's a straw. A cheesecake frosting. That's what's gonna be on top. And it's all strawberry. It was made with strawberries in the inside, uh, almond flour, and. Um, of course, you could you could pick up some of the, the the stuff that I'm making from me or from my my online bakery. We got an online bakery, sugaristhedevil.net. If you ain't seen it, make sure you go go to check it out. Sugaristhedevil.net, and you can check it out over there. Okay, so on the sauce, we're using this right here, right? So the reason why I choose this sauce because it had a little bit less on uh, sugar but what I mean by sugar I don't mean by sugar sugar this is no added sugar this is just sugar coming from your tomatoes there is sugar a little bit of sugar in your tomatoes it's all natural sugar though okay so car uh, total carbs are, are four grams carbon car carbohydrates okay so we're gonna get this and we're gonna put this in here like this right we're gonna make our own sauce a lot of times when you buy ragu or you buy all this stuff that stuff's not good 
but it's always better to make your own sauce, right? So we're gonna make our own sauce. Now right here, I'm gonna run a little bit of water inside here and get all the sauce out. Get all the sauce out. Y'all know that part, right? Get all the sauce out. Bam. All right. Okay. Love, I told you to give me that, that, that Italian paste. Where's that Italian paste at? In the pantry. Okay, hold on, give me a sec. All right. Are they enjoying themselves? How y'all doing, man? Hold on. It's in here, but where, love? You know I can never find nothing. I'll find it. All right. Okay. So, Italian paste. Okay, we're gonna go with some Italian paste. And this right here shows, um, this right here got some more. It actually got some more than the tomato sauce. But you use less. Yeah, I use a lot less. So, it shows uh, four, hold on. And it shows on sugar four, but it's all natural. Okay, so on this one right here, all we're gonna get out of this one is two spoons. You know what, I'll get the measuring thing so y'all can know exactly what I'm putting in there. Hold on. You got something bigger than this one? Okay, we'll do three of these because I can't, I can't find the other one. Okay, here we go. Which one's this one? One That's teaspoon? A teaspoon. Okay, one teaspoon, so you're gonna put three teaspoons. So one. Two. Three. Okay? And if you go over a little bit, it's fine. If you go over a little bit, it's fine. But that's what we're doing. Okay? Now, you cannot make Italian sauce without garlic, right? But I'm gonna be putting some fresh garlic in my meat over here, so I'm not gonna put it too much in my sauce. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning inside my, my sauce. So we're gonna put some Italian seasoning right here. Don't be afraid with the Italian seasoning. We're gonna put some of that, some of that in there. And I'm gonna put a little garlic pepper in there. A little garlic pepper, just a little. These are, this, if you would think, this is probably like a one fourth right there. All right, so we got this going on. And now, a little bit, a little bit of uh, pink salt, Himalayan salt, which is better for you. It's good, it got great uh, minerals, magnesium, it's so, okay, so we're gonna put that in there. And then, um, Lydia. Yeah. Open, oh no, I'll do it right now. I'm bringing this over the way you're at, the noodles. You gotta bake them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm gonna bake them right now. So the oven's still on, right? Yeah, 350. Okay. All right. So you're gonna so bake the noodles? We're trying to get them brown, we're trying to get them brown. Okay, these are the, these are the noodles, guys. I know they, they spread out a little bit, but it'll be fine because we're going to cut them up. So these are the noodles, and when you see them, you're going to be like, man. So we're going to get the noodles, and we're going to let those get hard. We're going to give them like maybe like a good Just a brown 20 little. minutes. So You probably don't even eat that long. We'll try 20 minutes. Let's do 15. All right. Okay, um, so we're going to do the sauce right here. A lot of times, people, sauces... They taste better when they're a little bit more sweet. Um, now again, I don't use sugar. Maybe on the front side. But um, I'm gonna show you right now. If I can find it. All right. Before, well, I'm giving y'all a lot today. Y'all lucky to be on here. Before, Oh, I'm not gonna have y'all. Before, I used to put brown sugar into my lasagna. I've always put brown sugar in my lasagna way before. We're talking about two years and a half ago. And now I use this. Why I use this? Because there's, this is not sugar. This is a replacement for sugar right there. The ultimate sugar replacement. This absolutely no sugar. It's not sugar whatsoever. Okay? But I use it because it does give it a sweeter taste to it, and that's why I use it. So we're looking for something to pour with. All right, so we're doing one fourth, one fourth, okay? I like my sauce more sweeter, my wife doesn't, so I don't make it too sweet, 
Okay, so we got we got this going on. Let me get this thing open. All right. That's in the pot. That's bubbling. That's the thing in the back, huh? That's, That's the front. My, that shit hit my face. <laughs> but it didn't burn me the fucking. So do you put olive oil in your sauce? Uh, yeah, I put some a little bit. Not now, but I put some a little bit. Okay, so here here goes one fourth, right? And then we're gonna put um, a half of one fourth. So a half of one fourth. So one fourth and a half of one fourth. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're just gonna blend it in like this. I'm gonna move it around. Who's all on here, love? Let me see. Let me see who's on there. What's up, Mike, Brian, Emilia, Adrian, Mario? What's up, Jacob? All y'all, man. Thank y'all for being on here. And remember, later on today, I will be doing a live show, but we'll be talking about something else, you know, about health. Today, we're just talking about something that can help you when you're on your uh, um, keto journey, when you're when you're trying to, even if you're not on keto journey, just when you're trying to do something. See, we're just going to put this right here. Man, that's it. A little bit. little bit. Get this. Oh, shoot. Get this up. All right, all right. Y'all, y'all just ask, do I put some? They put very little bit. All right. So we're just getting the sauce ready. Love, I need some fresh onion, a, a garlic. Yeah, I'm, I'll get it right now because you can't even do it. You, you're holding the camera. Okay, hold on. All right. Man, shout out to my wife for for holding the camera for me. I know her hand gets tired. I really appreciate that. I'm tired. I'm hungry. She means, <laughs> she means the world to me. Mmm. You really do. We did we did just complete 10 years together. Married. So we're gonna get some fresh onion right here. The garlic? Yeah, garlic. Alright. I like extra garlic. If, if, if y'all don't know how to do garlic, y'all get the garlic, y'all drop it down like this, and y'all pop it open and y'all take the stuff out. That's how you do garlic. And garlic is really good for you. Really, really good for you. Garlic is good for your liver. Garlic is good for people that have blood pressure. Garlic is good for people, for for a lot of stuff, man. Their circulation um, is good for like when you get cramps. It's good for everything. But one good thing is is mainly good for is your circulation. Oh, doesn't it reduce like blood pressure? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it helps that it does blood pressure. Okay, so where did the garlic go? Okay. Man, I hope everybody's enjoying themselves and having a good time, man. And you know what? Yesterday, uh, not to get anybody down, man, but that Kobe situation with his daughter, that hurt so bad. And um, it's, I, I told everybody, I've never been a Kobe fan, you know, because I'm always, you know, I'm a Rockets fan, so how could you be a Kobe fan? But I've always respected his game, and he's always been, like, badass at it, like, really, really good at it. And... Um, Whoa. You know, but he's always been real. He's always been real com he's always been real competitive. He's always been real competitive. Okay. Okay. So you got to put it over here. Put it over here. Cold. Go over there. We're busy. He's, okay. he's cold. Okay. Yeah, you come back inside. Okay. So all we're doing right now is just trying to break up the meat over here. I'm gonna move this cake out of here. I don't yeah, want yeah. it to get squashed. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't let it get squashed. I don't want to get it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I'll give you some right now. Don't play with that. So the thing about the thing about Don't sausage, the thing about sausage is that it gets it gets very hard right away. So we're just trying to break it up a little bit, right? We're trying to break it up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this this meat and the sausage to the sauce. Right? We're just trying to break it up a little bit. What are we trying to do? Pick it up. How's that looking down there? Let me show. Let me see. Let's go over. So it's already. Oh, some fell to the bottom. Ah. Yeah, we fine. We fine. This thing's all hard enough. It's already. Yeah, it's rising a little. Okay, cool. With the lasagna. And you, Jordan, you like lasagna stuff, don't you, Dad? I know you like spaghetti. He said, uh uh. Well, he don't like mine. He just. He likes that plain, no flavor one. Bye. Okay, so we're just gonna break that up a little bit. 
We got the sauce over here getting done. I do have to try my sauce to make sure it's delicious. That's one thing I always do. So we're gonna try the sauce real quick. Here we go. Mm. That's good. That's good. But what it's missing is a little bit more Italian. It's missing a little bit more Italian. So we want we want we want the we want to give a little more Italian flakes to it. A little more Italian flakes to it. Right? All right. And remember, the reason why I'm going to put no fresh garlic is I got the fresh garlic over here inside that. But I'm going to put a little bit of garlic pepper in it. There we go. All right. All right, guys. Okay. So now... So do you need to break that up over there more? Yeah, no? but now... I'll break it over here. I'll bring it over here. But now we're gonna throw this oil out. We're gonna throw some of this oil out because we don't want all that oil to be on this plate. So um, let me get that. Give me that. Okay. All right. So we're gonna throw this oil out real quick. It's hard to do anything when you fuck with so much. Okay. So they want to know how you're doing um, the noodles that are in the oven. The way I did them, they got four eggs, okay? Four eggs, a block of Philadelphia cheese, okay? And- Put it on the inside of the sink. I'm still using it. And- um, So Italian, four eggs, Italian eight seasoning. ounces of Okay, so cheese. now we're gonna just transfer the meat to your, your sauce, okay? Okay, all right, let's make sure we get everything out. So, man, you know what? they? They have been loving these cooking shows, man. They've been, y'all been hitting me up telling me when I'm gonna do another cooking show, but guess what? I'm doing it right now. And people are saying, when are you gonna do pupusas? Cause I got an awesome recipe for pupusas, but I don't know if we're gonna do that one because everything I'm doing is gonna be in the cookbook. So all I ask from y'all, all I ask from y'all is please buy my cookbook. Cause I don't want, I, I, I was afraid that if I cook in front of y'all, you're gonna pick up my recipes. They're like, I don't need this cookbook. But you know what? There's honestly, there's some stuff that if you think that I'm putting everything on here, uh, no, I'm not. There will be some stuff that you're gonna be like, you know, it's just a little bit different. So I you said- give, I can't give you all my secrets. So you said four eggs, a block of cream cheese. Yes. You added mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. Yes. And you could add fresh Parmesan cheese. I add the can, we didn't have no fresh one, but you know, it's fine. The whole deal about that, is when you're getting that you're getting cheesy you're getting cheesy noodles so the most of your lasagna is going to be made out of cheese that's what it's made out of it's a cheese lasagna but when these get done i'm gonna show you how i cut them up and you're gonna be like oh my god they look just like pasta because they are gonna look like pasta and look at this sauce in lasagna your sauce is everything i mean if you don't have a good sauce i have to do that I, I know, have but it's I have so to loud. Do that. I know it's loud, but I have to do that. They get sound effects. They get everything. Alright. Alright. You know, they said massacre the meat free. <laughs> Who's, who said that? Marcus Rodriguez. What's up, man? What's up, Marcus? You gotta you gotta break it up, man. You gotta break it up. Alright. Look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. And you know what? This is something that you won't find nowhere. And for the people that are already getting on here, I used two, two sausage, um, two uh, Italian sauces on here. These are the ones I use because they're real less on carbs. Uh, if I'm mistaken, they had no sugar and they only had two grams of carbs, okay? And that's for each, for each link, so that's awesome. All right, so now, also we have bell pepper, we have some bell pepper, we have some green bell pepper in there, we have some onion, and we have some seasoning. So the sauce is right here. So the sauce is good. Now we gotta get to the cheese. So we're doing fresh cheese. We're doing medium cheddar and mozzarella. The reason why you wanna get them off the block because they got a little bit less carbs on the block like this. You can't get them in the bag if you're running on time, but it's always better to get them on the block, okay? So we're gonna get these going. Where's the thing at? Okay.
And you gotta put in the work. People be like, man, that's a lot of work. But you know what? You gotta put in the work. So we're gonna use this for some cheese, right? All right. Get the block. Do you want a bigger bowl? Please give me another bowl. Yeah, there's one over there, right. under. Okay, all right. Are you fancy. flipping? Trying to get fancy. All right. Uh -oh. We're gonna get the bow. I mean, we're gonna get the thing. So hold on, let me check on this. So the doing? edges are browning a little, but I think it needs more time. Well, man, today, men are going to learn how to cook. Women are going to learn how to cook. You know, and if, and if y'all, the main thing, I'm not saying y'all don't know how to cook, but I'm just saying y'all going to learn how to cook with all that evil sugar and all those carbs. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why you guys should take care of your health. One of the reasons why. What do you got on I can shred if you hold it here. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Appreciate that. No, Okay, okay. Also, my wife's gonna shred it. That's right awesome. There. All right, appreciate that. All right. Zeke, what's up, man? Hey, sister, what's up, Rosalie? Natasha, how you doing? Who else we got on here, man? So, my wife, she's shredding the cheese for me. So, we got everybody on here. Oh, shit, hold on. Ellie, Brandy, how you doing? Let it ride. Uh, can you repeat how you make. What's in the oven? Yeah, I will. I will, Jessica. Shout out to Jessica Jeans, man. Hustle Vida. They have so much things going on over there. She's, she's a really awesome person, man. Y'all don't know who she is. That's 97.9 and 102 and the Spanish Station. They got so much stuff going on, man. Shout out to Joe. Um, shout out to Jesse. Veronica. Shout out to you. Shout out to Jacob. Shout out to Cynthia. Shout out to Mario. Adrian. Emilia. Um... Jay, shout out to Jay. I was some so shout out to all of y'all, man. Shout out to Jason, Rolando. What's up, Dad? Shout out to Rolando, Michelle, Honey, Elvira, Sin. What's up? That boy got them skills on the mic. Shout out to, to Sin, man. Shout out to Ram. What's up, Dad? Shout out to Luigi. Let's go. Hold on. And we got a bunch of people on here. What? I ain't playing already. Shout out to Monica. Cousins, shout out to man, there's a bunch of people on there, man. So if you have any questions, ask y'all questions, man. Ask y'all questions. Let's go down here and let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so these are gonna be the noodles right here, right? And you gotta excuse it because I went, they kind of dragged a little bit. Like they fell down over here, but my wife's gonna be like, what? So but this is these are the noodles, and we're just gonna let them get a little more a little more brown, and then I'm gonna cut them in front of you and we're gonna turn them to pasta. They're gonna look just like pasta right here. And they're gonna be really, really awesome. The way the noodles were made. They were made with a, a block of Philadelphia cheese. Make sure you get the real Philadelphia cheese. Do not try to get the fake one that's cheaper because they got more carbs. And uh, four eggs, and you beat it down um, either in your, your, your hand mixer or you do it on your blender, like, you know, whichever one you use. And you let it go for about one to three minutes, okay? One to three minutes. Actually, two to three minutes. All right? So, so we got the sauce going on over here. Okay, I, I turn off. Okay, that I think you don't have, you don't have to do the whole thing. Just start doing the mozzarella cheese. So the cheese that we're using, we're using um, mozzarella cheese, mozzarella cheese, and we're using uh, um, medium uh, cheddar. That's what we're using over here. But man, wait till this stuff comes out. So man, if you're if you have any health problems, which like if you're type two diabetic, if you're borderline diabetic, if if you have high blood pressure, this is a better way for you to, to eat lasagna. This is a better way for you to eat lasagna at all times, you know? So, for some of y'all that are barely getting on here, y'all be able to watch the video later and please share my video and keep on sharing my video. But one thing I wanted to get clear uh, on here, and I know we're not talking about that, but earlier I was talking about the Kobe deal. Um, man, there's so much stuff going around. I, I don't see it as him being a, the great player, even though he was, because I was never a fan because I'm a Rockets fan. But... I see it as him being a dad. You know, I have I have little boys and I have a daughter and it was sad. It was it was really sad and it was hard for me to even send them to school. You know, I didn't even want to send them to school today. Hey, what's up, Renee? Shout out to Renee, man. Shout out to Christina. I didn't want to send them to school today 
but I knew I had to because, you know, but I, I posted up a video yesterday. I just couldn't go to sleep, man. I, I mean, I stay up pretty late, but I was just it was really bothering me. I was crying. It just it really hurt me, man. And, you know, I, I don't understand how it hurt me so much because I've never been a fan, but nobody deserves that, man. But you know what? We all are here. We're not promised tomorrow. We're here to be for a little bit and we're here to go. I mean, we all go to we are going to go to heaven. All of us are going to go to heaven, you know. So so the thing is, guys, I posted up a video and I had a few people hit me up and said, why did you tag the video with your with your name? And the reason why I tagged the video, because I don't want no one, absolutely no one getting credit or changing my video for something that I did out of my heart and everything. And if you if you ever notice, I don't ever talk about unstoppable media because there's I don't it's not a business. It's it's it's, it's a business, but I don't get paid for it. OK. It's something that I do all the time. Now, if I was trying to promote my business, it would be sugaristhedevil.net or it would be ketoislife TV. That's what I would promote or my DJ company. So for them to say, hey, you know, this, whatever. Some people are always going to find the bad from a person no matter what, you know. But it is what it is, guys. You know, it's very tragic. And I know some of y'all seen the video and y'all been sharing, you know. And it, honestly, I did that video because I was hurting, bro. I was hurting, y'all. It, it was it was hurtful. I mean, I was. It's hard, you know, to see to see something like that just happen unexpectedly. You know, I ain't trying to make nobody sad. You, you don't like that noise, huh? No. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Shout out to Chris, man. What's up, bro? Savannah. Shout out to Yvette. What's up? What's up, y'all? So today, are we good over there, love? I'm about. To, I'm gonna start dressing it up. We're gonna start. I'm gonna dress it up for y'all. I think we could dress it up in front of them. Not we, until it's ready. Like, yeah, yeah. The I, noodles ready. We, we got to put it back in the oven, right? Are the noodles ready? Yeah, let's check it out. That's what you gotta... So the noodles are getting there. You, you, what we're trying to do is get the noodles hard. So see the, see the brown on the noodles right there? We're just trying to get them a little bit. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, they're getting kind of hard already. Okay, so, they, so it, it should be good. They should be good. You want to come check them out, babe? If the look. edges lift off easily, then it should be Look, look, come look. I want to make sure. I, I know they look pretty good, but I want to make sure with you. Look. Looks like it's already. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good, huh? I gotta, yeah. I gotta cut them off. Okay, oh, let's take them off. Um, it's kind of. It'll be fine. This because that one got stuck. We're, we'll be fine. Let me, I gotta cut them. Don't, 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 don't move me. Don't move. I'm gonna cut I know. Them. I'm, I'm just trying cut, to. I'm gonna cut it off the mat right now. It's fine. Are you sure it's ready? Well, let it, let it be. Let, give, it, give it another ten minutes. Cause you want them to get hard a little bit. Hold on. Let me bring it up. So we're going to give it another 10 minutes on the, 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 the noodles. Because the center is not. Yeah, the center is not where I want it to be at. So. All right. All right. Shout out to Laura, man. How you doing? So shout out to all of y'all, man. And uh, if y'all ready to get in here, I've been doing lasagna for years. I do lasagna every every year for my wife's birthday. And when we, you know, when I started doing keto and then she started keto, um, it was one of them deals where like, man, you know, we can't have lasagna no more because I can't make the lasagna the way I used to. So then I thought about another recipe and then I figured a way. And then I was like, man, I got to be able to make some kind of noodles or something. And then I just put those together. So everything you see here is my recipe. Um, nothing you can find right now on YouTube, but you will be able to find it in my cookbook. You will be able to find it in my cookbook. My cookbook will be coming out soon. I'm working on it right now as we speak. And it's called The Truth. It's called Sugar is the Devil. And it's called the, the chapter is called the truth. So that's going to be the first chapter and talks about my like my lifestyle, why I decided to change. Well, not, not that I decided to change the reason why I needed to change. You know, it talks about me being type two diabetic a, a few years ago. It talks about me having high blood pressure, me having having complications with my stomach and everything. And um, so right here, we're just moving it around. We, we don't have it on no more. It's, it's pretty much just very, very low heat. You said low heat right there. Cause you don't want it to burn, so we got to going. Hey, hey, Lucy, shout out to y'all, man. How y'all doing? So, so now we got the cheese. Thanks to my wife, my wife's red. I guess I was being too slow on the cheese, right? So we got the cheese, and the cheese right here, uh, mozzarella cheese and medium cheese. You can use sh sh sharp, sharp cheese, yeah, sharp cheese if you want, but I use the medium one. So okay, so we got the cheese right here, and we're getting the the thing. I guess we could start playing it. I mean, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's get that out. Get that out with the mat. And I'm, I'm going to start playing it for y'all guys. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look and everything. So we're going to do that right now. And today we're doing lasagna. But the difference between my lasagna and a lot of other people's lasagna, 
Mine is definitely no sugar, sugar free. And it, it's very low on carbs, very, very low on carbs. And I'll give you all the carb count in a little bit. It actually just depends on how much pieces you need of, of, of uh, lasagna. So we're gonna get the noodles out, love, and then we're gonna cut them with a uh, cookie cutter, please. Where's the cookie cutter? Okay. So I don't know about some of y'all, uh, a lot of people, and this is if you wanna put it in there, I have always put it in my lasagna. We use cottage cheese, we use cottage cheese. That's what, we, that's what I always use for my lasagna. So I can't find the, the, the cooking cutter, but we're gonna, st we're gonna start getting that ready. So we're getting the cottage cheese ready and stuff like that. We use cottage cheese and, and ricotta. Did you buy some ricotta? No. So today we don't have no ricotta, but I use, I use cottage cheese and ricotta. That's what I use. So I should have bought some today when I was at the store, I forgot. But we'll be all right. So remember, cottage cheese and ricotta. I'll take okay. this out because you're going to do it all right. All right, I'm, I'm going to fix everything over there. Yeah. Okay. We're going, do we need that? Is this a small little plant, pan, pan right there? Yeah. Okay. I always forget it's just me and my wife. And then I got everybody on here, so I figured, you know what? Let me just. So. It's so awesome, man. You're going to be up, but over here. I'll be over here. I'll be, I'll, okay, you be over here. And then I'll be over there. Yes. All right. So you be over here. Okay, so we're gonna start plating this. We're gonna start getting this going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the noodles in front of y'all and show you how to do them real quick. Um, just to make them straight. How you saying? How you doing? So shout out to all of y'all, man. I appreciate y'all being on here. Look, she's bringing it out right there. Look. All right, those are the noodles. I, I know that they, they, they look kind of crooked and everything, but come on, y'all. Noodles go in crooked. They, they're not always the best, right? But these are the best noodles for you. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut them up like that. Give me that, that thing I just brought out, or, or a knife. Just give me a knife, a knife's fine. Because I couldn't find the, 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 the cutter. Not that, give me a knife. You're not just gonna go Okay, I can do that, okay, I can do that. You wanna do that? Because you gotta straight your hand. Here you no, go. No, no, no. All right. I got it. All right, so now we're gonna do, oh, bitch, I just touched this a lot. Don't do that. <laughs> so now we're gonna do is just cut it. I don't think it's ready. Well, it'd be okay though. It is okay. Ready. Usually it's more harder. Okay. Well, and it's hot. So you, last time I think you let it cool. Yeah, you got it cool down. But I'm just, I'm just bringing it down. Okay. All right. And so, you put it on the silicone mat thing so yeah. that it doesn't stick. Yeah. And I got that from Amazon. You can find some rose. Man, you can only smell this. It smells so good. It's cheesy. All right. And I would just cut it right here where the edge is because that part's going to be stuck. Hey, now you're not going to eat it. We're gonna eat I it. know, but yeah, I'm okay. saying just to okay, finish yeah. that. Until it can look better. Yeah. Okay. So then we're going to come this way with it. You want to do this drop, right? Well, I would cut just... Which one do? That's fine. Midway is fine. Because I was going to come down this way with it. Is that perfect? Yeah, it's fine. All right. So now we're just going to cut this way with it. Making my wife hungry. And I've been fasting. I, I always fast. And, 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 I'm, and I could start eating by 3 o'clock. But the reason why I've been fasting because I'm not hungry right now. But I'm getting hungry now. You know? So when people say, you know, and, 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 and of course... I don't tell everybody that it's, it's, it's fasting is for everybody, but if you need to do fasting, you know, I'm also a coach for that too. I can teach you how to fast. I do 20 hours a day, okay, or more. All right, so here we go. So now we got this going on. Bring the little flat spatula for this. Spatula, which one? The, the one on the cutting board. Okay. All right, let it get a little hard. Let it get a little more hard. Well, They're going to be perfect. They're going to be good. I don't need it. Hold on. Hold on, be careful. Okay. So where's the... Uh, so they're lifting. Yeah. Are they picking up? They should yeah. pick up because they got the thing. Let me hold it. Well, you're going to have to... Here, hold on. So... Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. Are we, going, are we going down already on it? Yeah. Start, start putting it on there. You don't put no cheese in there? Well, I thought you were just going to put a little bit of sauce I'll and then... Much, huh? Yeah, yeah but much. just that's, that's fine. fine. All right. Hot. You 
can make it even, huh? See, Look at that. Do you, do you see how? Do you see how it it, it it holds up like like noodles? You know. So here goes this one. So we're gonna pick this one up. We'll put that right there. Oh, All right. Oh, I like the crunchy part. Okay. So now we're gonna put cheese. Oh, what do you put first? Um, I guess meat, sauce. Right? More, meat. More meat. Yeah. So this is the crunchy edge. Shout out to everybody that's on there. Do we got any new people on there, babe? Yeah. Mm, not that I know of. All right. Remember, you can start a watch party. I'm going to do a watch party in a little bit. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a lot of reasons why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. One of the reasons is because y'all learning from me and y'all can keep on learning. I got a lot of good videos over there that I haven't showed over here. Um, y'all can find my video not too long ago. I did a... Uh, um, what kind of tacos were they love? I can't remember. Sure. Okay. No, not the fish tacos. Oh, the, no. the chicharron. Oh, chicharron. No, not chicharron. Uh, um, carnitas. Oh, carnitas. Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. Well, we call them chicharron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, my wife's Salvadoran, so they 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 see they eat different stuff than we. Well, it, we we give it a different name. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna get some cheese, the fresh cheese we did, and we're gonna bring the cheese in there. I put too much, but we're gonna put some cheese. It don't matter how much you put, just put some cheese. Lydia loves cheese. And really, with this, it's it's just yeah, it's pretty really much cheesy. all cheese. But we'll have a salad to go with it. Yeah. Okay. And then so you need a spoon for the so cottage cheese. And now we're going to do the cottage cheese. Hold on. Oh, I'm so hungry. This is Lydia's favorite, favorite, favorite dish. So you get cottage cheese. We're going to bring it on. I was going to put it, I was going to put it around there somewhere. We can sp it'll spread it out in the, the oven. Well, no, you can just, with the back of the spoon. Okay, and if you don't like cottage cheese, you don't have to put cottage cheese. I choose I, to put cottage cheese. I think cheese. it just makes it creamier. Yeah, yeah, it gives it a creamy taste. I like the taste of cottage cheese. I, I've always liked cottage cheese. Some people eat cottage cheese with fruit. Ooh, that's so nice. I don't eat that. Well, so. well you could do ricotta too. I yeah, ricotta. well, we always do ricotta, but I forgot to buy it. I thought we had some here. Ricotta's the kind of thing that you've always have some left over, right? Because you can't ever use all your uh, uh, ricotta. So I thought we had some here, but we no, no, of course we didn't have none here. So, uh, but it's still gonna be delicious. I promise you that. And you know what, guys? We're gonna put this in the oven a little bit, and then let it go for what about 15 minutes? Not even 15, 15 minutes. Well, right? you want it to to be. So we're gonna. What up. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna plate this, and then I'm gonna come back to y'all guys. So I'm gonna finish this right here and just show you how how it's gonna look, and then I'm putting the oven, and then we're gonna come back to y'all guys right now. And then I'll show you the finished project and we'll eat it right in front of y'all. Okay, so here so here goes this. And now you get another noodle right here. Let's stop. And it, honestly, I, I don't care what it looks like because it's going to go in. And you, anyway, you're going to better have it straight in your mouth. So, so here we go. No, it's not going to have oh, the, that, that the chewy, good. like actual noodle. No, but no, it's delicious. It's, it's good it's, to it's, hold it. It's so delicious. I, 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 don't, I think it's better than lasagna and i'm not saying that because i've gotten used to it i think it's better than lasagna you even said that it was better than lasagna because i mean better than noodles one of the reasons why you can make them hard as hard as you want to make them hard you know but we did this right now just to show y'all we should have left them in the oven a little maybe like another 15 minutes or 10 minutes right and they would have got hard but we did that just to show y'all okay so now we got this we're gonna put some more meat on this one right here like this Right. There are any questions left? Are they seeing questions yet? No. All right, guys. Make sure y'all ask questions. I got a problem with your questions. Your questions show Facebook that my channel is doing really, really well, and did they let me add more people to it? You know, or they just give me some better times where I can? They just do a lot of stuff. You know? All right. Look at this! Look at this! Today you were cooking with Free the Keto Coach. I ain't a singer. I need somebody to do me a jingo though. I know somebody can do it. Real what good. are the noodles made of? So Raul was asking. The noodles are made out of, I think I answered the question earlier, but the noodles are made out of um, four eggs, a block of cream cheese, Philadelphia cheese. And this is not gonna look perfect y'all, but we're just gonna make it the best way we can. I'm just trying to make it look okay. Um, well, we didn't have enough for the time. Yeah, we didn't have enough noodles. But you <laughs> but know what? But it's already a lot of layers. I mean... It'll be fine. It's just me and you, remember? 
I know. Yeah. Okay. So this, look at that design, boy. Look at that design right there. All right. All right. So four eggs, a block of cream cheese, which is what eight ounces, four huh? ounces, and it has mozzarella cheese. Yeah, it has a um, mozzarella cheese. And then you bake it. And then you the bake it. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. Look at the design on that. It looks really good, right? And then you can just eat this part. Oh, my God. You know? That's why I say taste it. Oh, my oh, no. God. It's delicious. I know it tastes good. Um, that's why this is better than noodles. Because it's so delicious. Will there be leftovers? Another question. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Jose. Jose, what's Jose? Let me see. What's up, Dad? Hey, it'll, it'll probably bake for like you welcome 15, to stop by, bro. Twenty you minutes. Stop by. I'm in Katy though. Just, you welcome to stop by. Just to melt the cheese. I'm not greedy. You don't mean you go way back like a track. So you welcome to you welcome to stop by, man. Yeah, just bake more cheese on top. Yep. All right. And there you have it. So we're gonna put this in the oven. Oh. We got the oven still hot from 350 degrees. We're gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna give it 15 minutes. And we're gonna come back to you right now. And I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be plated. And we're gonna eat it in front of y'all guys. And Jose, if you want to come by, hit me up. I'll talk to y'all, man, a little bit. Check out the next video.